Beloved of God, welcome to the God Minute. This is Father Michael, along with the rest of our team, inviting you into prayer today. Let us humbly approach our God and call upon Him who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my my mouth mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 27 and 28. Jesus said to them, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. The Word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As a human being, I have come to understand that we are creatures of habit for the most part, creatures of emotion and instinct, and we all have need to feel secure, to belong, and to trust other people. And these needs are often met by the relationships that we form throughout our lives. As I've grown a little older, I've realized that one of the most valuable relationships we can have is the one that we share with our Creator, God, Jesus. This Gospel reading refers to us as sheep and Jesus as the Good Shepherd. You know, following the Good Shepherd can change our lives. And the first step in understanding Jesus as our Good Shepherd is to recognize ourselves as His sheep. You know, in the scriptures, we're often referred to as sheep. And for good reason. Sheep are creatures that are easily influenced by their surroundings. They follow each other blindly. And they're vulnerable to predators. I think that they're rather sweet animals, to tell you the truth. 
Similarly, we humans are often influenced by our environment and we tend to follow others sometimes blindly and we're often vulnerable to the pressures of our society. But being a sheep also means that we're in need of a shepherd. A shepherd is someone who guides us and protects us, who knows us individually, and who has our best interests at heart. We need to trust Jesus to be our good shepherd. Following him isn't just about attending church or reading the Bible. It's really a way of life that asks us to be intentional about our relationship with our Creator. I think some of the ways that we can follow our Good Shepherd in our daily life is to spend time in prayer and meditation, to connect with our Creator and to seek His guidance, to read and study scriptures, to learn more about the Good Shepherd and his plan in our lives to surround ourselves with a community of believers who can support and encourage us in our faith, to serve others in our community, rather by volunteering at a local charity or simply being a good neighbor, and to practice forgiveness both of ourselves and of others as the Good Shepherd has forgiven us. As we conclude our little reflection today, the concept of the Good Shepherd is a very powerful one that has the potential to transform our lives in very profound ways. By recognizing ourselves as sheep, by embracing trust in our shepherd, and by following the Good Shepherd in our daily lives, we can experience a sense of purpose and direction and hope that is unparalleled. So let us embrace the power of trust in our lives and let the Good Shepherd guide us on our journey. God bless and we'll talk with you soon. As the risen Lord taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, your Son Jesus, the Good Shepherd, leads us, his flock, in all aspects of our life. Help us to rely on him, to follow his example, and to lead others to you by word and deed. This we ask as we do all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved of God, thanks for joining us in prayer today. Do take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow. Amen.